What's going on guys? Victor here and today I am with Brooke. Say hi. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> and um, today's video is going to be very different from what you guys have seen before. Now, about three years ago, Brooke and I had a very near-death experience. This is not clickbait. I'm being like 100%, 100% for real. Like, we both thought this was the end of us. Um, a very crazy experience while fishing offshore. And as you guys listen to this, you're gonna be seeing footage played over uh, what you're hearing Brooke and I say. So as you guys see, it is pouring behind us. And right now in South Florida, it is thunderstorm season. And anyone who knows about our weather knows that Florida's weather is absolutely insane, especially in the summertime. Yeah, and when they say the weather can change in the blink of an eye, it can change in the blink of an blink eye. Of an eye. So where I'm going with this video is I want to kind of throw a safety tip out for you guys. So I guess the best way to do it is let's let's start by telling the story of this traumatic experience. So I'll start and then Brooke will interject. <laughs> so about three years ago, Brooke and I were on our buddy's boat. It was a 21 container with our buddy Stevie. And you know, we're having a good time. We went out of the inlet about, you know, whatever, middle of the day, and it was flat, clear, calm. There was absolutely no rain or thunderstorms projected for that day. And, um... We were kite fishing, and yeah. I actually caught a sailfish yeah. on the kite. And so we had our kite out, and we were catching this sailfish, and then we see the storm kind of coming in from, I guess... From on from, from onshore. Yes. And it's coming towards us, and we're like still fighting this fish. So we're kind of in the middle of fighting this fish, and we're like, oh, the storm's getting kind of bad, but we weren't really sure. And we thought that maybe it would go past us. And before we knew it, that storm was on us. And we had the kite out, and we tried reeling the kite in, and it was it picked up to like 20, 30 knot winds, and the kite broke. And so now we're just reeling in this kite that was just in the water, got drenched, which was like impossible to reel in. So we broke the kite. It got so bad so fast that we just said, the hell with the kite, and we were like, we're heading in. Yeah. And, and <laughs> yeah, like, like Brooke said, so this storm was on shore, and so we were offshore. So we were east, this storm's west of us. And um, you can't, when, you're, when you're out there, you can't tell whether the storm is going north, whether it's going south. You can't really tell whether it's coming at you. It doesn't matter what kind of radar app you have or anything, because storms are not, they have no rhyme or reason. They'll go north, south, expand. They can expand to the size of Florida in no time. And like Brooke said, all of this happened so fast. The matter of her fighting her fish, getting the sailfish in, the kite breaking all happened within like a 15 minute span. And before you know it, the gust, we had a 30 knot, 30 to 35 knot wind, just full throttle coming at our face. The waves picked up to like two to four, occasional five. It was flat calm to that rough, that fast. In no time at yeah. all. And um, so now here is the real danger in this story. We are offshore about five miles in the Gulf Stream. And so if you don't know what the Gulf Stream is, is it is a, a current that runs uh, south to north along the coast of Florida. And as that current goes south to north, the further north it goes, the further offshore or away from land it goes. So we were getting blown west, or we were getting blown east by this storm that was coming at us. And that is the danger in these summer thunderstorms is the fact that most of them come from land offshore. And so we're coming from offshore onshore and this wind is just blown at our face at like 35 knots, lightning everywhere, rain so hard you could barely see. Yeah, and we couldn't even see five feet in front of the boat. That's how rough it was. Yeah. So now it was raining so hard. So now you're at a situation where it's not just the lightning, it's not just the wind, it's not just the possibility of your boat capsizing, but if you can't see in front of you, you don't know whether or not there's a boat in front of you, you don't know whether there's a log in front of you, you don't know what's in front of you, and if you don't have a compass or a compass that works or your electronics fail, you don't know whether you're running offshore, inshore. So that's another real big danger with these summertime storms. And I mean, Brooke, you were in tears. I was so scared. I honestly thought like something so bad was gonna end up happening. I was praying, I was crying. It, no joke, she really was. And I've been in lots of storms before. I mean, I've been on boats since, I don't know, I was born. And I've been in lots of storms where it rains bad and there's lightning, but nothing like this ever. And 
we couldn't have done anything to change it. No. We, it's not like we could have ran a different way from it. It's not like we could have known it was coming. There was nothing that we could have changed. And that's the really scary part about it is you, there's nothing you can do. Yeah. So do not take it lightly. And then here's another thing I wanted to bring up in this video. Here's a real world example where, unfortunately, rest in peace, Austin and Perry. If you guys aren't familiar with the story, Austin and Perry are, um, they were two teenagers down here out of Jupiter, Florida, and they had a really unfortunate event that took their lives. Uh, we don't know them personally, but we have plenty of friends that know them. And what happened is they were out there just like us fishing, and they had one of these thunderstorms that came off land, had a really strong west wind, and their boat capsized and they didn't make it you know they never found them they found the the boat and it's really unfortunate it's sad to think that you know that could have been Brooke that could have been me that could have been your family your friends you don't know you know there's no being macho in the ocean the ocean takes what it wants when it wants you cannot try to you know overcome it don't try to be a macho man don't say oh we're gonna stay out here and you know lightning's nothing there are a million and one things that can go wrong from not being able to see in front of you, from lightning hitting your boat, um, your electronics go out, and the real danger, like I said, is what happened to Austin and Perry is they may or may not have, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to be disrespectful, you know, I don't know if they survived the storm, but whether or not their boat capsized, they could have been on their boat, you know, but the problem is, like I said with that Gulf Stream, so they're on their boat, and whether or not there's any directional wind, that Gulf Stream is taking them up the coast further and further and further away from land. And once you get that far off land, there's practically no chance you're gonna swim back to shore. Because as you're swimming inland, you're still being dragged out by, by that Gulf Stream. That Gulf Stream is no joke. Mm -hmm. So that is our traumatic experience. It's, um, it's- You can never be too safe. No. You need to make sure everything on your boat's working, you have all your safety equipment, everything you could possibly need. Um, Flares, e -perbs, make sure your electronics are working right, batteries. You have a good working radio. And speaking of e -perbs, so if you guys don't know what an e -perb is, it's this little device that sends a distress signal and it is basically your last line of defense. Like, when you think it is about to hit the fan, when you guys actually think like, Oh my gosh, we might not make it. Our boat is taking on water. Your bilge pump went out or something. It's a it's a vice, the device that sends a signal. I don't know if it's to the Coast Guard or it's the police, but it's a signal that lets people, that tracks you as you're going. So whether you're capsized hanging onto your boat or whether you are just floating in the water with a life jacket, EPIRBs are a really good device to have. Mm -hmm. And our buddy, as we were going in, our buddy goes, just so you guys know, the e -perb is right here. So that's when you know, and this is, I'm not talking about this is just some kid. This is our good friend who has been, you know, a charter captain. He has his captain's license. He's worked on big boats, little boats, and he has spent more time on the water on, than on land. So when you hear someone like that say, you, just so you know, this is where the e -perb is, you know things are serious. Mm -hmm. It was very, very, very scary. Very scary. And I work in the marine industry and almost, Every single person that I work for has a story like this where they were out fishing or just on the boat and the weather changed in the blink of an eye and they were caught in a horrible storm and it's happened to a lot of people and I'm sure you guys probably have stories too about it happening. So you just really want to be prepared and you want to know like, w like what to do in a situation yeah. like that and make sure you have everything that you could possibly need. Definitely have an emergency situation. And I really wanted to put this video out now because down here in Florida, our thunderstorm and our really big nasty storm season is basically starting now and it's mm -hmm. gonna be here through till about through September. So be safe out on the water, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay salty, my friends, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. But if you guys don't know, Brooke right here, she's my girlfriend and she has her own YouTube channel as well. So if you guys please do me a favor and do her a favor. Her content is very similar to mine. Make sure to hit that subscribe button probably right there will be right there and if you guys have not subscribed to me make sure to subscribe to me it'll be right there as well and uh yeah so stay safe out there guys bye <laughs> <laughs>